Hello, this is Tony Riggs with Go Engineer. In this video, we're going to take a look at the ways we can mirror components while we're in the assembly. What we're going to do with this handlebar assembly is go in and maybe window around the components on the left side of the screen. Over in the component pattern drop down, we've got the ability to mirror components. And it's just a wizard that we're going to walk our way through. The next thing we're going to do is come in and choose our mirroring plane, the plane we're going to be symmetric about, and just hit the next button. At this point we've got the ability to make left hand and right hand components. Because if we look at some of these components they really need to be mirrored around for us. We come in and choose the different components that we want to be uh, mirrors. We can take a look at that. If we mirror one component in a subassembly, it's got to make a mirror of that subassembly as well. And we just come down and take a look at the you know, couple more components that we want to mirror about. We've got the ability to mirror about a bounding box center, uh, but typically we'll go with a, probably a center of mass. If we go into the next uh, screen, we can come in and create new files. It'll actually uh, add a prefix to the name or a suffix but in our case we just probably want to come in and create a derived configuration so it cleans up the file management problem that we might have if we have a bunch of different mirrored components from there we can go in and choose what gets transferred to those uh, mirrored components maybe we just use the solid bodies and cosmetic threads uh, model dimensions if we want to and from there we can go ahead and say OK to the creation of those mirrored components. When we get done, we now have a left and a right side on the handlebar. And we've got a few more controls that we can use. If we come over and move you know, the original component on the left side, the one on the right side uh, will move as well. Same thing with this knob. If it turns, it basically has a symmetric mate built into the components in the mirror component tool. We can come back and edit the definition of that later on if we like. That's a very easy way of getting uh, a nice symmetric assembly uh, mirrored around. So again, this is Tony Riggs with Go Engineer, and I hope you found this video useful.